Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. So just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson and get ready. We're about to begin. Today what we're going to do is we're going to tape and mud an inside corner. Now in the rest of the series that we've, we've done on drywalling that I know that you can do is repairing little nail holes and scrapes. Let's say somebody put a, put a, a hand through the wall or a baseball through the wall or swung the door open too fast and put the doorknob through the wall. We learned how to repair that. We took two pieces of drywall in the past and we have mudded, right, mudded and taped right down the seam, connecting two drywall pieces together. And today, pretty much the last part of it, is doing an inside corner. The inside corner is the same as if you were going to do at the top where the wall and the ceiling meet. So that's also a 90 degree angle, so this is a 90 degree angle here. So let's get started. What we need is our mud, which I've already put in the pan. We need either our four or six inch knife, and in this case I'm using the four inch knife. And we're gonna fluff this up just a little bit. And we're gonna do just like we did in the past. Step by step, we'll do it step by step and we'll teach you how to do it. So in the past what we've done is we have globbed on the drywall mud. So we're just putting on a very heavy coat of this. Very heavy coat. We're just globbing it on. See? It's going on nice. All the way down to the bottom on that side, and we're going to do the same thing over here. Okay, so this way, this side, it went down with it. And on this side, I'm going to go on the side like this just because it's a little different and you might have a different technique than I do, but I want to show you different ways of doing it so you can develop your own way of doing it. So you can't say, well, he said just go straight down. No, I didn't say just go straight down. Let's try different things. So as long as you're getting it into the crease, into the 90 degree angle here, into, this, into the corner itself, we're going to be good and we want to stay out at least as far as the four inch knife. So when we put the tape on it, it's over. We're not, we're not going to have any problems with the tape going over the mud. Okay. So this one going sideways like this takes just a little bit more time. You see what I mean? The other one, we did longer strips, so it worked pr pretty well. All right, let's keep going. Now, mind you, this is only a demonstration wall. Most walls are eight feet tall, so of course you'll need a stool or a ladder or something like that. Okay, almost done, almost done, almost done, and there. All right, it's globbed on there pretty well. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to take it just a little bit, just a little bit straight down, take off some of that excess glob that we don't need, a paper tape, and we're going to cut off a piece just like that. Okay, that's the height that we need, and I'm going to rip that off. And this particular tape has got a crease already, already down the center, so it is easy to see how it's easy to fold in half, and it's an even half. I don't have to do any quick measuring or anything like that. And it just, it's like self, there you go, see? It almost, it almost bends itself, which is nice. All right, so I got this and I'm going to 
from the top, I'm going to put it right in the corner. See how that goes? All right, now I'm just going to run my finger down the center like that. And I'm going to make sure that both edges, just like we did before with the, with the taping of the seam, both edges straight down to make sure that the edges are actually touching the drywall mud in there. Okay, so far so good. All right, so now what we're going to do, now this is that actual tool I when we went over tools before, which I'll do another video on tools too. We're going to use this one now. This is an inside corner trowel. All right, wooden handle, metal, 90 degree angle-ish, and what's nice, it floats a little bit like this because not every corner is 90 degrees. All right, so what we're going to do here, this makes this job pretty easy. We're going to put this up in the, in the upper corner, pull it out on an angle slightly, and go straight down, nice and smooth, nice and smooth, and there. And we're going to put the excess that's on the back of the knife in the pan. Okay. So let's get the camera over a little bit closer so you can... So let's take another look at it. So what I got is the, the knife up on top, just like that. See? And it's going to make a pretty good corner at the top, too. You, you know each corner's got a nice little point in it. So we're going to take this and just go straight down. Straight down. That's it. Now you're getting it. Straight down. And that's how it is. All right, so what's next is, is we got some excess on the outside from where that, where the 90 degree um, uh, trowel float was going. So we're gonna take our four inch knife or our six inch knife, and we're just gonna, remember the trick before? Right on both sides, okay? I'm gonna do on this side of the, I'm gonna do this side of it, so I'm gonna put a little bit more pressure on my, right hand finger, my right finger, and just ride it down just a little bit just to get that little extra globs out of there. Part of the knife was riding along the paper. Part of the knife is riding along the globby wall part. Okay, we're doing the same thing on the left side. Okay, let's get this little glob out of here. Now. All right, so now we got our inside corner taped, but is it ready? No, well, let's put a coat over top of that tape to make sure that when it dries it looks good. So again with our four inch knife we're going to do the exact same thing as we did before. We're just going to glob it on in the corner. Just glob it on. Don't press real hard on the paper because you don't want the paper to move. And both cases, I'm going to go straight down like I'm doing now so I don't pull the paper away from the corner. See, that's working out pretty well. I'm globbing it on. And we're going to do the same thing over here. Just glob it right on, making sure that it goes into the corner. I got a lot of mud on there right now, but what my objective is is to make sure that that tape is covered. Okay, and we're going to go down the. We're going to go down the corner again with that 90 degree angle trowel again, okay? Almost done, almost done. And 
Beautiful. All right. Before we go ahead and hit that corner again with this trowel, make sure that the edge of the trowel is mud free. So if you wipe it on your pants, that's okay. It's water soluble, Walks, it washes away with soap and water. So I'm just going like that just to get the edges nice there. I'm good. I'm good. And now we're going to go down the, that corner again. Okay, as you can see, I globbed it on. You can see the globs all over the place here. All right. And we're going to go down this inside corner seam again with the trowel. All right. So let's start at the top. We're going to put the trowel right up in the corner. There it is. Just like before. All right. And I'm going to I'm going to travel straight down. See how smooth that is? Look at that. Look at that. All the way up. Nice straight corner. Now I've got a little bit of globbing here. A little bit of ridges here. Something like that. But we're going to get rid of those, so don't worry. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those little ridges off. Now, same technique we used before, two fingers on the, on the knife. I'm going to heavily lean on the right-hand side on this side because I don't want that beautiful seam going down that we just put on there wrecked. And I'm going to change hands, and I'm going to go on the other side. So I'm going to put more pressure on the left hand left finger you could just go straight down and take off that little ridge just like that and it looks pretty good let me get this just a quick one going straight to oh that looks nice now now I'm happier all right so when coat number two comes on which will be after this dries we'll knock down We'll knock down all the high stuff and then we'll put on the second coat and we'll have to we'll feather it out just a little bit more maybe an inch on both sides and see how it looks when it's dry then we'll come back and we'll put on coat number two all right we're back it's drying very nicely we're ready for the second coat we're going to scrape down the sides where the high stuff is get those knocked off and we'll start applying the mud for the second coat so take my knife Get rid of that high stuff. All right, got some crumbs on the floor. We're okay. Now, mud's already in the pan. I'm gonna take that same knife and I am going to, just like we did before, we're gonna glob it on. And then we're gonna let the corner knife, the corner trowel, go all the way down just like we did before and then we'll clean up those edges again only this time we're actually using we're going to glob it on out uh, at least six inches now take a look here see this is about four inches here now we're going to start to feather it out just a little bit further all right so let's get some fluffing here and we're going to glob it on just like that. See, I'm starting to feather out even further. All right. Clip off the edges. Make sure I'm getting into the into the actual corner. There we go. Clip that. Clip that. Get it into the corner. I'm pushing it in. I'm going to start at the bottom. See, I'm taking big hunks. There we go. See? Don't be afraid to put it on because you're going to scrape it off anyway. So don't be afraid to put it on. Make sure you're in that corner. There we go. There we go. There we go. No, it doesn't look nice. 
yet. All right, let's do the other side. Fluff up some additional stuff. Let's get it in that corner. There we go. And we'll start to come down. We want to go out. I know I'm not using my two finger technique on this, but I'm trying to show you how to do it from a different angle. Okay. left to go. Just a little bit left to go. And then we'll start with the corner trowel, corner knife. And we will go down the center and get a nice smooth finish. And then we'll finish up with the six inch knife or maybe even the eight inch knife. Well, it depends. All right, we're globbed on there pretty good. Let me glob that and make that look nicer there. Here we go. All right. All right, let's go down and see what happens here. All right, so I'm gonna keep this because I'm gonna end up taking the mud off of each side of the knife. So we're gonna start at the top and we're gonna work our way down. Start at the top. All right. I'm not doing a two finger on this because I can't do it, but I can do and I want one continuous flow. I'm doing the one finger right down the center of the knife itself. So I'm holding on here and I'm putting my finger right on there and I'm gonna nice even pressure all the way down. Here we go. Up at the top, corners in, tilt it just slightly and go straight down. Yeah, you're moving your body to go down with the knife. You want that to be a nice even flow. Look at that, look at that, look at that. That's a nice corner. All right, so we're gonna wipe this off here. I got wiped off, I got it down there, so I feel good about this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my six my six inch knife and I've got a ridge. You can see that ridge coming all the way down here and you can see that it's not feathered very well over here. So two finger, two finger technique, more on the right side and I'm putting my knife probably half and half, half off of the mud, half onto the mud. Look at that. A lot of pressure on the right side. I just want to feather that one area. Go all the way down and there. That's how it works. So let's do this side here. Can you see me okay? Okay. Yeah, you can see me okay. All right, so two finger. I'm going to push a lot on my left hand side and glide on the right hand side. 50, 50, 50, 50% 50 off of the mud, 50% onto the mud and go straight down. And there it is. I got a little bit of a line and I'm just gonna lightly go over it. Two finger gliding. And that's it. So we feathered out another inch, inch, inch and a half, somewhere around there, maybe two inches because we're at, yeah, it's about two inches. So we're at about six inches right now. So when we come back and it's dry, we'll knock down the high stuff again, and we're gonna go after that corner again, just like we did before, only this time we're gonna use the eight inch knife and that should finish it up. So let's let it dry and we'll see what happens and, and it, it should be just fine. Okay, we're back. The corner's dry. On inspection, it looks pretty good. There's a few high spots that we got to knock down with the eight inch knife, which I've got right here. So I'm just gonna go like this. I'm 
I'm not going all the way into the corner because I don't want to disturb that nice line that's going down. It looks really nice. Let's do this side. Just knocking down the high stuff. Alright, so what we got to do now is we are going to put on our third coat. So we actually are going to go into the corner. Of course, we're going to use our, our corner trowel, the one we have been using. We're going to put on a very light coat. Now these first two coats are on, they're pretty good. They're a little on the heavier side. But this one's going to be a nice light coat and on top of that, we're going to be feathering it out even further. Just maybe another inch or so and that's why the larger knife. And we're going to gob on the mud just like we did before and we're going to use the same technique as we did on the other projects. And we are going to feather this out a little bit further. So let's get started. Mud already in the pan. Fluff it like we normally do. Try and get some of those air holes out of there in the air pockets. And I'm going to start at the top, two fingers, straddling the, 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 the knife blade, and I'm gobbing it on. I just want a lot of material on there. Just like that. Put it on nice and thick. Now you see I'm not going all the way into the corner with the gobbing. I want to be a little bit delicate with that. So I'm going to go back. In just a moment, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Let's get the other side done. So I'm, can't, I'm ambidextrous, I can actually use both hands with this so I can continually turn around. Let's just gob that on there. Nice layer. See how far out we're going? We're actually going out almost another four, five, six inches with this bigger knife. And that's going to be nice benefit to us because that corner is going to look really nice when it's all sanded down and ready to go on to the next part of the project. So we're almost done here. I put a lot of mud in this pan because I knew I was going to use a lot. Alright, we're we got some good layer on there now. Fill in a couple of these little gaps. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in the corner and work my way out. So this is gonna take a little bit more finesse. I'm gonna start over here, I'll start at the bottom. I'm going to gently put the knife in the corner and squeeze it into the corner. I'm going to push, pushing on the knife to squeeze the mud to the top of the blade. Just gobbing it in the corner. Okay. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Just like that. All right, now, let's do the other side. Again, we're gobbing it on, but we're gonna be scraping a lot of this off with the corner trowel. And we're almost done. Watch this. There. Okay. Now, we've got a lot of material on there now. A lot of mud. 
and we're going to take it off because like I said, we're just going to put on a thin coat. All right, here we go. Starting at the top. Just always start at the top. Starting at the top, put my corner right in, angle it up just a little bit, put some good pressure on it because we just want a thin coat and go straight down just like that. Okay? Yeah, I took off a lot. So we're going to go ahead put that back in the pan. Like that. All right, so you can see that we've got one good line going down and we're going to keep it that way. All right. So back to the eight inch knife. And what we're going to do here is we're going to feather this out now from here out. So again, same technique, two fingers. I'm on this side of it. So I'm going to use more pressure on the right finger and let the left finger ride. And I'm going to feather that edge out just like that. Look at that. Feather the edge right out. because we want to sand as little as possible. We're going to go down one more time, feather that edge out. Look at that. That's, that's what we want. Now, we have just a little bit of a line ridge down here. That's going to be okay. We don't want to mess with it too much because if we have to sand a little bit, we, have to, we know we have to sand a little bit anyway, and that stuff comes right off. All right, starting at the top, I'm on the, this side now, so I'm going to put more pressure on my left finger and let the right finger glide, okay? And I'm going to feather out that side. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. All right, I'm going to go in just a little bit further so I can get some more of this stuff off. There we go, because I don't want to be sitting here sanding forever. I took off that much. That's how much more we don't have to sand. All right. And one more time just down here. Look at that. That's a corner. That's a nice corner. So we got our corner in. You know what? Just for trying, because I know you're going to try it anyway. I'm going to go just a little bit further in it and try and get rid of that line. All right. So here we go. Now, if I don't want to dig into it too much, what do I got to do? That's right. More pressure on the right hand finger, right finger. All right. Let's see if we can get rid of that line. Oh, I'm creating more of a line towards the edge, but down here it's okay. Hmm. It actually turned out pretty good, <clears throat> but I got a little bit of a line here. I'm not going to worry about that. We're going to let, we're going to sand that out. All right. So after this is all dry, we're going to come back. We're going to give it a good look, see if it needs an extra coat, which it might not. Then we'll give it a final sanding, feather things out real nice. And then all you got to do is prime and paint. All right, we'll see you when it's dry. All right, so we're back. This is our third and final coat, it looks like, because upon inspection, it really does look good. So all we really need to do now is a light sanding because we feathered very nice along these edges. We feathered real nice along all of these edges here. So all we have to do now is just give this a light sanding down here Make sure we're good across here and across here. Make sure we got a nice, a nice straight line going all the way down and watch how we do that. So we just give it a light sanding. OK, 
Okay, I feather the edges first. I always sand the edges first. Let's do this side. Didn't take long, did it? All right, now we're gonna do this panel right here, and then we'll do this panel over here. All right, so while I'm sanding, I'm also looking for air holes to see if I find anything. If I do find some, then I take a little bit more mud and I just go over it real quick. And by the time I'm done sanding, maybe 20 minutes later, I can get that last piece where, where, where it was over the bubble and then it's good. So let's finish up here. Okay, so, so far so good. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth, so everything looks good. Now I'm gonna go down this ridge right down here, make sure that that's a nice straight line. Because our sanding block is, of course, a rectangle, it's each side of this, except for the very ends, is rough. So I'm gonna take it and put it right up against the corner, and just lightly go up and down. Just like that. It assures me that not only will I get any imperfections out, but it also assures me because of this angle on the, on the sanding block, because it's a rectangle, this is a nice sharp edge. I can take this, put it right up against the corner and get a nice clean line. Just like this. all the way down and it looks great it does it actually does look good all right that's how you do it lots of dust lots of dust when you're sanding a large area like this put on a ventilator or some sort of N95 mask uh, if you want to you can actually use gloves too because this drywall dust tends to dry your hands out and if you can, crack a window or, and don't put a fan on this because then you're just creating more of a problem. So um, the project is finished. The line is straight. The edges are feathered. You did a good job. Now, don't ever let anybody tell you you can't do it because you can do it. If they can do it, you can do it. Just have them show you how, like I did. I'll see you on the next video.